Hey man, it's the ISO God Sensei. Now in this video, bro, in this video, the IQ God, I'm going to be going over what a 2K dev is most likely going to implement in NBA 2K21, man. He tweeted some stuff and um, we're gonna go over it. We're gonna look at the feedback. Peep the fit, peep the fit. What y'all rate the fit in the comment section, man? Don't nobody look flyer than me, my nigga. One out of ten, one out of ten, one out of ten, bro. Come on, man. Bro, I gotta have like the the dopest my player in existence. But anywho, man, in this video, bro, we are going to go over what a dev, you know. In one of my most recent videos, you know, they sent out a survey. I went over and all this and that. But look. He kind of doing a survey, you know, he tweeting on Twitter and, you know, he making polls and, you know, he's getting feedback, right? We're going to go over that. I'm going to let you know what they is finna implement in NBA 2K21, my guy. Very interesting. Very interesting what the community thinks, man. I also have two other videos on that. Y'all can go peep them out. But anywho, before we get into the video, make sure y'all subscribe if you're new. 300K on the way. Spam up that like button. Let's try and get a thousand likes. Subscribe if you know. Subscribe if you know. Subscribe if you know. Help a young nigga grow. So, young Zach Timmerman. By the way, make sure y'all follow me on Twitter, man. I, I, I be having a lot to do with these polls, these tweets, this NBA 2K, anything related. Y'all follow me on Twitter, man. Support your boy. Anywho, he says, playmaking badges in NBA 2K20 as a whole. Thoughts? Right? 9% says 2OP tone them down. 36% said just right. 53% said not effective enough. Now, okay? I was shocked by this result, bro. I was very shocked. I think if they did a bigger poll, a lot of the old heads and just trash people in 2K, um, who just hate playmakers because they can't be one would definitely um, talk about this. I, I think it would be more of this. But listen, here is my defense. You know, y'all know I'm an ISO god, but I could play any build, man. I'm a god. Um, it definitely should be more towards the the 90ish. This just right is terrible. That speaks for the community. Y'all don't get that, man. That's why y'all gotta have a voice. Y'all gotta be LinkedIn, LinkedIn. Y'all gotta follow the right devs, man. Give them that feedback, my boy. Because the playmaking badges are 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 terrible. Whoa, wait, wait, wait. before I get into this video, if you can get a US a UFC four beta code for me, please give it to me. DM me on Twitter, my boy. I will stream it. It will be the funniest stream ever. Please. <laughs> okay, let's go into it. Now, um, y'all give me y'all opinion on playmaking badges. Which one you would have chose? Um, but I personally think, man, they're not effective enough. I think it should have been like 90 some percent, bro. Because playmaking badges in general, bro, they're not good. They're they're not good. They're not efficient enough. Like, okay, you move faster with quick first step. Um you got a little more stamina with uh handles for days, but it's it's nothing. It means nothing. You can ISO with gold playmaking badges and be just as efficient. You feel me? Bailout super OP and toxic. Unpluckable is literal trash. You can't get any ankle breakers, bro. People get stunned more from screens than ankle breakers. A basketball game should not be about that. Basketball games are about going at someone, not zigzagging and doing all this glitchy stuff behind a screen. That's not real ball. Y'all need to watch ball, bro. It's head up, you know? There are screens, but most, you know, especially in the park, in, in park, in, in, in street ball and in, in all that, it's, it's straight one-on-one -on -one settings. You see NBA players play the little pickup games, straight one-on-one -on -one settings. 90% of the game, every single player, one-on-one -on -one settings. It's the park, stage, it should be one-on-one -on -one settings. But they try to 
you know, decrease the skill gap to make it easier for people to play. So they're 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 they're, they're taking that away. But anywho, let, let's get into this, man. So this guy, Terry Browser, says handles for days needs a nerf. It's ridiculous to run a full game and have the PG able to not even see get the Gatorade cut by their name. What? This, 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 you, can, you, you know he has 61%. As they dribble the air out the ball the entire game, no NBA PGs do that IRL. He's crazy, bro. These freakish athletes he's saying can't dribble nonstop. There are little kids that can dribble nonstop. What is he talking about? There are little kids that could dribble longer than you can on 2K. What? Not even my Rockets. Enhance how fast stamina is drained. He's terrible. He sucks. Um. In all actuality, despite what a lot of y'all think, there should be no stamina restriction. Okay? Human beings are gods. We're built for endurance. People don't get tired of dribbling. Okay? They, they're, they're not... They're not... <laughs> They don't become incapable of movement if they dribble too much. It, it doesn't happen, bro. Okay? It don't happen. So, this whole stamina thing, it's decreased the scale gap dramatically and it needs to go, but it won't go because it caters to the casual bums. Look at power. They're good, okay? Nothing power says matters. He sucks every 2K. He makes a center. Doesn't even try out guard. Not even this year. When it's the easiest to run... A point guard you could finally you know come out because you know a lot of people they make lockdown centers every year because they're not good at the game and they just trying to fit in a role i feel you but don't be capping like you like the greatest ever you can't even run point you can't iso you can't you can't run behind screens nothing make a center every year for a reason those people's opinions should not be taken seriously man at least when it comes to like skill and stuff like like playmaking and stuff you it, just ruin the game badge plug says there's one move that puts people on the floor one facts and they still haven't fixed it bro you know it's crazy my nigga like i really don't get it how one move i like the tight handles it's stun a little bit you have to have stuns bro you have to have stuns ankle breakers all that bro i know people say rng all this and that screens are rng Bailout is RNG. Reaching is RNG. All this, all these other things are RNG. If you're gonna have all that RNG, you have to have some ankle breaker RNG. Give people a reason to have smaller players, bro. You know, instead of like just making some big ass demigod and just pew pew pew. pew you know, it, it's I don't know. This guy, the lock em up J man. Unpluckable still gets ripped too much. Facts. Uh, a build with not a lot of steals, not even a pickpocket badge. Rip you. Downhill. Eh. Flashy passer doesn't really work, but it does boost the takeover. Handles for days. Flight has better stamina. Facts. I definitely agree with those, man. Needle threader throws passes off people's bodies. What? Quick first step, better in the demo. Should I go on? Yes, you should, my boy. Let's see what Young Swan says. All ankle breaking badges need a buff. Only one move puts people on the ground. And you need playmaking takeover. Buff immediately so the community can have more fun. Also, bailout shouldn't be a badge. It's extremely game breaking and the second most OP badge behind brick wall. Facts, y'all agree with the Swan? If you're gonna have slow gameplay with extreme stamina restriction like this year, there needs to be a high ankle breaker ratio. Ankle breakers do not happen often. You give all the no skill builds the bailouts they want, but not the skill builds besides bailout. Ooh, bars, bar swan. Then I go, if you had fast gameplay with low stamina restriction, then you could have low ankle breakers since the game plays slow there should be a high ankle breakers to balance out the game I, I believe that's the perfect formula i'm not making up the formula i'm going off of past 2ks how the balancing worked you feel me like in 17 they had stamina restriction but the ankle breaker ratio was high in 2k 16 
They didn't have stamina restriction, but the ankle breaker ratio was low. That's the perfect formula. 15, ankle breaker ratio was low, unlimited stamina. If you have limited stamina, you have to have higher anchor breakers. I can't even talk. How anchor? <laughs> Whoa! You have to have higher ankle breakers, bro. Okay? You have to. It, it's, it's the formula for the perfect games, bro. It's already existed. I'm not speaking new ideas. I'm not biased or none of that, man. It's work. Still getting ripped by Hall of Fame Unpluckable. Stop and go trash. Um, Let's see what Young Swan got to say, my boy. Playmakers need more speed to separate builds. The builds that guard me the best are centers because they're so big. Pause. That should be the build that should be my easiest cook. Now, a lot of people, they don't really get what I say. Um, Centers can get chase downs. Like, you might be able to cook them on the perimeter a little bit, but if he's actually decent, it's going to be harder. You know, even if they have the slow speed and all that. I, I mean... Me personally, just the bigger the player, the harder it is for me to ISO them. That's just how I feel. I feel it should be a way easier cook with like no effort, like just two moves, bang, you know? I don't know, dimer, ankle breaker, unpluckable, etc. needs a buff, dimer is fine. How do y'all feel about dimer, man? I know a lot of people always miss, so I don't know about it. That when when I be dishing it to people, they get ripped so easy. I'm talking about pure playmakers. Yes, with 99 ball handling, it's it's atrocious, bro. It's really terrible. Ankle breaker is too weak. Pluckable needs a big buff. They still haven't fixed it, my boy. Let's see what Young Swan says. <laughs> Dev Swan, unpluckable does not work. We get ripped by non-defensive centers or bump steals from non-defensive playmakers even in our takeover while having high ball control unpluckable needs a buff handles quick and downhill for playmakers needs a huge buff for a speed fun and skill gap ankle breaker is the only one not effective enough look at this guy you know this dude trash handles for days is literal cancer <laughs> You know he be getting cooked. Tight handles makes <laughs> tight handles makes what are supposed to be NBA level players freeze at the sight of a single crossover. What? When you mix both of those with unpluckable, you get 2K20 aid smoothie. He trash. Good job, Demon. Let him know. Needle threader is a pointless badge when people just bait the lanes for automatic steals. Eh, I don't know about those. Also add three seconds in the paint defense as well to stop paint sitters, sitters in the park. Eh, I don't know about those. Because people do be abusing um, paint defense. Paint defense already ass enough. I don't know. I don't know how I feel about that. Unpluckable works better for non-dribbling builds than dribbling builds and handles for days needs a buff. Facts. I agree with you, I. Take space creator and bailout. Bailout has to go. Y'all think bailout has to go? You know what, what I find funny, bro? A lot of people, they be bashing. A lot of playmaking and ISO and all this and that. But you never hear them talk about bailout. You never hear them talk about Hall of Fame brick wall screens. You'll never hear it. You never hear, like, the shot creator break the ankles. You'll never hear the fade stuff. You'll never hear it. You know, if, if fades were made to be a bad shot, the skill gap would, would increase dramatically, bro. Because when you have to stop to shoot in time instead of fade, um, it takes like a couple seconds, um, like from the space that you need to get the shot off. And, you know, it's it makes the game harder, bro. That's why 16 was dope, because you couldn't fade. In 15, you could fade at least uh, toward the middies, and it was pure cancer. 17, you could fade, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, but shouldn't be like that, bro. So Zach is reading all of this, and he's he's getting an idea on what how to, what to implement for um 2K21, bro. What the hell do y'all think he gonna take away from this? 
I wish ankle breaker would work more outside of the playmaking takeover facts I have a slashing playmaker with slashing takeover and I never get ankle breakers and I have like 21 or 27 playmaking badges I have like it's sad bro it's, it's like really sad please remove reaching interrupting dribble animations how do y'all feel about those I wish Downhill needs a serious buff. I, I, I agree. But I remember it used to be too OP. If I get a tip passing lane still, there's no way anybody should catch me if I already have a 93 speed unless they are an elite defensive player with chase down artists on gold minimum. I agree with this. Um the speed gap of players isn't it's not it's not it's not tremendous enough, bro. See what this dude said. Ankle breaker and tight handles makes no sense. Needle threader is pointless, even at Hall of Fame. Handles for days, Hall of Fame, and you still lose stamina, even with Gatorade and Gatorade drills boost. Facts, bro. It's kind of sad. Even if, even if you get all three, bro. Mm. Not effective enough. Ankle breaker is non-existent. Ankle breaker is little ineffective. And you know what's funny? When when one ankle breaker happens, like people just lose their mind, bro. Like like a screen isn't basically an ankle breaker. Like, but but worse. Like it like takes you out the play, bro. Feel like they don't do much at all besides a couple like quick first step facts. Lob City Passer, I don't really, um, Lob City Passer doesn't seem pretty effective either, man, to be honest. Please make them better. Handles for Days still doesn't work. I get ripped regardless of having them pluckable or not. A Space Creator gives me one broken ankle a month. Only one moves breaks ankles. No point in doing crossovers or spins or behind the backs. When snatchbacks is the only thing that drops or stuns people. Facts. Very rare you see something else works. Not effective enough. <laughs> you guys ruined the game with tight handles, then ruined tight handles, which ruined the game even more. <laughs> so that badge needs to be reworked. Facts. <laughs> <laughs> bro, bro, bro. I was cool with tight handles actually breaking ankles, bro. Like, bro, there has to be, like, people don't get it, bro. I, I just don't get how every other build can have all this, but the second someone who's, like, skillful and using, you know, what works for him, what's, what is in his repertoire, it's a problem. It's such a problem. Look, look what this guy says. Sir, this is a video game. And I just want to have fun. I play offline and all I want is for my playmaking builds to catch ankles and drop bodies. Right? I've been playing 2K for five years and this is the only year where I can't do it. Please buff this and make offline career mode fun. This is even like online too, like... I've never had such little ankle breakers, bro. I mean, once in 18, people found out about the hands up. There was none in 19. They they have to fix this stuff, bro. Like, this is like a vital thing. Like, why is this stuff lasting all years? All year. No one should be able to hold circle and nullify getting their ankles broke. You can't hold circle and nullify um going over a screen or just like corny stuff like that bro like you shouldn't be able to do that you shouldn't be able to take a charge in the park make the guy fall over and all that like <clears throat> I, I i just wish they they could fix exploits and not just the exploits that have to do with movement because you decrease movement you decrease skill gap but i don't know bro uh oh, young swan. You're nerfing badges for builds that take the most skill. Makes no sense. It's like you want brain dead people to compete with better players. Playmaking badges overall are very useless and ineffective in helping to win games. 
It's like y'all don't want playmakers to do anything. Mm. If you voted OP, your mom should have swallowed your ass, bro. Oh, God. And yeah, bro. Anywho, that's the end of the video, man. Y'all let me know how y'all feel about playmaking, ISO, and, and dribbling in general, and how Zach Timmerman should um, change it up. I'm going to link the poll. Y'all could throw some comments in there. And I'll link my other two videos where I commented on two of his other polls. But yeah, man, make sure y'all subscribe if you're new. Like up the video. Let's get over a thousand likes. Turn on post notice. Follow all my social media. Follow my Twitch. And I'm out this whole bro.